All right, hey guys, uh, it's been a minute since I made one of these videos of me explaining stuff, but uh, yeah, happy holidays, whatever, happy new year, yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you how to import save charts to Psych Engine. Okay, so uh, it's actually not that hard, but uh, all you're going to do uh, to do it, now you can do this either two ways. You can either go to assets data and then like, just like use any song and then like get the like the JSON file and then like put it into any one of these songs. Like for example, like eggnog right here, here. Like just get that and then do it. But I will show you how to do this. Okay, so I don't have like a chart right now, but I can sort of well I do actually. I sort of kind of know how to do this. So, so yeah, put your custom charts here. Uh, this will take me a minute to find it here. Let me just pause real quick. Okay, now that I have found it, uh, here is the thing. Uh, so I made a, a little thing called a. Uh, so I made a triple trouble rechart, which I'll actually be posting in a video about it. Here's the stuff, right here. Now you can do this many ways, and I will show that. So here, I'm just gonna take this, put it in here. Uh, yeah, there it is, right there. Uh, now, if you want to do this, if you want the actual song and the, like the, the chart to be here, now what you want to do is just find any song. It actually does not matter what song you do. So let's go to Senpai right here. So Senpai, let's say I want this uh, Senpai Heart, so easy. Now, if you want the chart like right here, if you want the chart right here to go in here, what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to rename the file. So let's say, yeah, senpai hard. Let's, so what I want to do is just type in senpai dash hard. Boom. There you go. Uh, then drag it into here and then just replace it. There you go. That's literally all you have to do. And then when you go in here, so boom, the whole thing that you did is in here. Now, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's in here. Uh, then the next thing you're going to do, if you want the actual song to play, which I'm pretty sure you need the song in order for it to do, what you want to need to do, which uh, I cannot speak. So what you want to do is uh, come into here. And get the vocals and the instrumental in here. Uh, but if you can't do that, uh, I will actually show you how in a second. Okay, so this is how I kind of do it. So like, what you want to do is like just go on YouTube or something, uh, and like you, what you want to do is you're just just basically you're just the only thing you want to do is just you know just come into here, look up what you need the song, you know, uh, like triple treble instrumental vocals, and then. Just, if you have, like, something to, like, download the video on, like, you know, like, download the video, what you want, yeah, you just do that, and then you want to look, you're, the next thing you want to do is just look up a video to AUG converter so you can convert it into an AUG file. Since, uh, if you, uh, for example, if you, like, go here, uh, this, is a, this is an AUG file. And then once you do that, once it's an AUG file, once you have the instrumental and the vocals, uh, just rename it to both of these, just rename it. Uh, and I will show you show you this stuff in action Okay, now that we're here uh, If you got a senpai hard the chart should load uh, hard. There we go. It should load uh, Now, I don't know if this will work for me Maybe maybe it will maybe it won't it probably won't but you actually need the song in order for it to work so yeah uh, Like I said you actually need the song for it to work so all yeah, this literally all you have to do is just find the song, the vocals, and the instrumental. Uh, convert, yeah, download the video, uh, convert it to a AUG file, then replace that, and then boom, and then you should be able to go into the song and then just you know mess with it or whatever, and put your chart in there. Uh, I explained this terribly, but that's basically you all you have to do. It's not really that hard, but yeah, that's Psych Engine, I guess for you, and that's how you do it. Uh, I might make another video or whatever about this, maybe, uh, but I'll definitely make a triple trouble recharge video after this one. So, if you didn't know how to import your save charts into Psych Engine, well, now you know how. Uh, yeah, see ya.